Okay, y'all, let's go from day to night with this cute little two-piece situation. So, there's actually a pair of matching shorts that goes with this, but I'm starting off the day real cute-like with a pair of distressed white jeans with this nice shirt. My necklace is from J. Crew. If you want to buy this set, which you'll see the shorts in a few moments, we go to the night portion of this little short. You can get them from my Poshmark page. I'll have a link down below but i thought this was too cute i have one extra small one small two mediums and one large for anyone interested but this is what we're working with this to me is a perfect little daytime brunch with the girls situation what's up everyone it is your girl gel beauty 7 here aka grace honey and today we're gonna get into the new cosmic brushes collection so i got the nude truths palette and the cool truths palette I had a bundle of these that you could purchase so i just ended up getting the bundle because you know I had to review both of you for you and make sure that my theory was correct when it came to the palettes and you know how they um how the color stories were the same as other things I was talking about and all that so I went ahead and grabbed both y'all know I'm not really into the neutrals I'm more of the cool tools so I'm gonna do the cool tools palette last for anybody who's interested in seeing that just because y'all know it's my favorite and that's the one I want to wear all day if you like dupe videos if you like new makeup releases videos every week and if you like a good fragrance video this is definitely the channel for you make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so this is what the packaging looks like on the neutrals this is what the inside of the palette looks like so i think it's an okay color story i just y'all know i don't like warm tone neutral shades but i like the fact that this is a somewhat unique warm tone neutrals palette it still has a little bit too many browns and neutrals in it for my personal opinion but you know that's what it's called so duh uh but I felt like it looked really similar to the ambiance palette from Ace Mute and the um, ColourPop of uh, what was it, Good Sport palette, like I told you all. So here's what they look like side by side. So as you can see, this is a more like grungier version of this palette, if you will. So here's what both of them look like side by side. I feel like this is a brown girl friendly version of this one because if you feel like some of the shades in here don't run deep enough for your skin tone and you're my skin tone or you just like a grungier version of this palette I feel like you like the ambiance palette better. I know I personally just looking at them like the ambiance color story better but we'll see how the formulas perform. I probably do a um, old school versus new school in the future with the ambiance palette in this one so stay tuned and you know it'll be in a um underrated versus overrated video as well so yeah there's that. I'm not gonna show a whole bunch of persons in this video just because like I'm trying to move it along plus I do the shorts with all the comparisons and that and I've told you all in the past I want to start just putting them in the shorts so the videos won't be as long so you're only going to get the ones from the original video and then maybe like one other one just so I can save on time. Next we have the cool tools. I like the packaging of the cool tools better but I just love like I said cool tone stuff so of course I would like the packaging and the inside better. I mean look at this she's stunning. I feel like this would pair very nicely with their winter wonderland palette. Honey the I, the way I was obsessed with the color story of that palette, it would pair nicely with the Inslee Rain, what is the Enchanted, whatever it was, their blue green, their blue and purple palette. I feel like it would go really nicely with that one as well. That could be a good alternative if you already have that one. But this is what she looks like. I told you all I felt like this was really similar to the Cradled and Ice palette. Now, I do think that they could definitely um, go together nicely, but they're not exact. I never said they were exact. I said if you had, I felt like it was similar. And as you can see, they are quite similar. It does. The Cradle and Ice does not have the grays though that the um, Cool Trolls palette has. And those few neutrals, it has more of the mauve neutrals, not necessarily the other gray and neutral brown neutrals, if you will. But I think they would pair nicely together because you can get some of the deeper um, mauve tones that aren't in here. And you can get some grays go with the blues in here that aren't in here. So they would pair nicely together. The other one that I think I talked about, but I don't remember if I put it in a video or not or did it, the mock-up is the passion in paris from bh cosmetics i think they still sell this one on bh cos i mean on um makeup revolutions website but i feel like this is just like a warm tone kind of version of this because as you can see it has those warmer berries as opposed to like more deeper mauve tones so i feel like if you have the passion in paris you might not necessarily need this one because they have a good majority of the same shades just keep in mind this isn't going to have the grays in it. it actually has some unique green and some nice i guess like call those like mauve-ish peachy -ish, purple -ish type shades but I feel like if you like a more warm tone version of the Coutures palette as weird as that is you would like Passion in Paris so maybe you can find this at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Winters or you can still pick it up from their website because I swore I saw that this was still available on the Makeup Revolution website since they are the ones who bought Mirrors Cosmetics but without further ado let's get into it girl zoom in real quick and cute like um if you're interested in what's going on with the face 
I mixed two of the 50 highlighters together. So I have my Trophy Wife and Rich Hunty. I thought they would look nice together. As you can see, I'm beaming and glowing to the moon and the stars. I'm trying out two new cream blushes and cream highlighters. So you can comment down below and tell me which side of the face you like better. You can clearly see I'm trying out two different lips. I heard that the Makeup Revolution lip was supposed to be a dupe for the NARS Power Matte. But as I can see, it is not because this one is definitely more creamier and it isn't feeling as matte. So I'm thinking about taking it off. But I told y'all I would do um, a review comparing them. So I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see if I have to go anywhere. It's definitely coming off and I'll have to reapply later. But um, that's pretty much what's going on in my face. Um, I'm going to go off camera, get my life in order, and come back with a look with the new Truth palette. So I'll be right back. Okay, girl? Okay. So here's eye number one, a traditional, I feel like what you expected from me. I did the orange and the yellow and like the neutralish type brown. So I kept it pretty simple. I had to use shade New Trolls, of course. Then we have the shade Radiant in the corner. I used Delicate, Classy, Desire, and Icon to make this look. So let's get into it. I was happy I didn't have to use my white eyeshadow primer. Not that I don't have plenty of them left over. We're going to take the shade Neutrals now. Or Neutral. But yes, yeah, so I just, I don't know. I like being able to not always have to use it. And whenever I get like a neutral palette, neutral eye look I have to do, I'll like rush to use another eyeshadow primer because I'm like, I don't have to, you know, use my white one for once. Y'all, my Uden's eye stuff is supposed to be coming today. That's another reason I want to get this done because I'm like, um... Friday, I'm going, sorry, Thursday, I'm going to have to do that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get into this next shade, Delicate. It's just like the neutrally-ish brown shade. I like this shade a lot. I like browns like this when they put them in palettes, because I'm like, I don't always want, you know, like that warm, deep, like reddish, or orangish, reddish, like brown that has put on out of me. I like shades like this. Cause it's like you can to me sometimes ground a neutral look i not always make it warm tone since y'all know i'm not a warm tone girl like i live for shades like this in palettes just because it's like i don't have to be like fully warm tone i can still have a little bit of the coolness or the neutralness to like tone down and make the look more of a me look versus you know a just full-on blown warm tone look so i feel like they did a good job of making like putting some very few neutrally shades in here and i like the fact that there's purples in here too because again you know I feel like that's yeah, nice. So I'm popping that in the crease. I really like these mustardy yellow shades with like neutrally brown tones. So that's why I had to especially make sure I did this with the way I'm doing this look because I just love tones like this. Okay, yeah, that looks blown out and smoked out enough for me with the yellow. So now we're going to cut the crease, girl, and then we're going with the shade Desire. That's our lid shade. And radiant is our inner corner. I really like the way it brightened up the inner corner, so I drug it a little bit higher into the, where I started the shimmer in the front of the eye, just because I like the way it looked better. I drug the inner corner um, shade up and to where the start of the eyeshadow actually starts on the lid, just because I love the brightness it gave. So I wanted some of that brightness to come up to the actual eyes. So when we get there, you'll see that. But yeah. I picked this one because this was one of the shifting shades and I wanted to see how much of a shift you'd be able to see mm -hmm. on the lid. I feel like I don't see that much, but you know, it's like a teacher's own side thing. Maybe when I move my head a certain way, you can see it. I can't see it obviously because I'm rubbing it on my eye right now, but you know, I'm hoping you see it like in certain pictures when I turn my head a certain way or something. But that's the only thing I feel like is a downfall mm -hmm. for shades like that. Like you can't really see them shift. Other people perhaps can't, hopefully, because I'm assuming that's what the point is. Now we're going with that other brown shade called Classy. I told you I wanted to, like, have a nice gradient. So, I'll put the lighter or more warm tone brown toward the front where we put the uh, shimmer on initially. And then I feel like it kind of meshes well because it's like the warm tone is on the lid. Then you put this nice warm tone brown to start off with. And then later on you get into the darker one when it goes on the outer V. So, I thought it added a nice little touch, but, you know. Let's go on with the shade Radiant now in the inner corner. Look at that, y'all. Like, the brightness. Yes. That's why I kind of drag it up here a little bit because I wanted it to, like, start, like, right in this area right here and show how nice and bright it is because look at that. But to me, that just looks stunning. And also, this is the finished eye look with the 
neutrals palette i'm gonna go off camera take my look at me i think i'm sexy pictures hope the lip doesn't throw people off too much in the thumbnail and then i'm going to get into the neutrals palette which i'm super excited about this is the one y'all y'all know me this is the one she's excited she's ready let's do it let's go i'll be right back okay y'all so this is the eye i was working with um i just kind of dipped all around the palette so i used these two shades to start off with this is my inner corner shade i dipped into a lot of these type of shades so i i'm pretty sure i used this one i used midnight hidden attract infatuation this one down here so i kind of just dipped all over the palette to get like the look we have so i'm gonna start off with stone cold and eternal because those are the ones i started off with on this side in order to get done my mom was trying to talk to me but at the same time asked how much longer it is before i get done so i'm like i, I need to i can't get done if you keep talking to me so i was like let me just go in here and film for she you know keeps talking and then complains about me not getting it done and then gets mad when it takes longer to get it done because she's trying to talk to me so that that's what's going on right now but i'm just dipping between eternal and stone cold to try to get this done she's going through more grandma stuff and she's actually next door in my grandma's room so if you hear any noises or you hear me talking like you're hearing her trying to talk to me even though she wants me to get done so she can go home so i, I, I can't do both start off with the shade hidden in the crease the only thing is it um oxidized and became darker and kind of like matched the navy a little bit more than i would have liked it to so that's when i went into the shade attract on top of it trying to make it lighter hoping that would help it i feel like it did an okay job but i feel like it still looks kind of like muddled and the colors look a little too similar so a little disappointed that maybe i should have started off with the track and then i told y'all before i don't really like you know, color theory too well when it comes to shadows and stuff so sometimes my looks look muddled as opposed to other people's just because color theory is not something that you know i really pay that close attention to i just kind of like have a vision in my mind and then sometimes it shows up the way i expect it to and sometimes it doesn't so we did that one now we're gonna go into the shade of track to put it on top of it to kind of lighten it up for what's to come since i told y'all we know that um it's going to oxidize get deeper i tried to give it a little bit more of its lightness back prior to continuing on i feel like i did like i said an okay job with that but like even the lighter shade is going to oxidize and bring it a little bit deeper than i would have preferred it to be but you know we already did it down so it's too late especially since i'm being rushed now let's go to the front of the eye with the shade Intuition. And that's the one I put like right up in here. Told y'all color theory isn't like my strong suit or whatever, so I'm not gonna pretend like I necessarily knew that it was gonna um do that. I did know the shade was gonna oxidize though, which is why I prepared by putting a lighter one on top, but I still feel like it doesn't look exactly the way I would have preferred it to, which I'm a little disappointed by because like I said, I feel like it just kinda looks a little muddled, if you will. But it could just be because I brought the shade like a little too high in the crease so let's get into the glitter glue now i'm thinking to help the front of the eye we might go into that light color cultures that's named after the palette because each palette has a shade named after it and maybe that'll help with the purple situation in the front of the eye because i feel like it's not yeah it's giving a little bit more ash purple than i would like but i want it to very be well be seen that it is purple and it is doing that so I'm liking that so yeah we'll put that on the other side once i um, put the shade on for the glitter glue so i'm gonna start off with the um purple because i use two different sides i use tempting and i use magnetic so magnetic is the one i started off with so we're gonna start off with that one toward the back of the eye and then we'll put tempting toward the front of the eye so and then i put natural over top of this shade i like the fact that this is like a bluish purple shade i'm interested to see how close in tone and if i can make a similar look with this palette along with the winter wonderland so don't be surprised if you see that in the future in addition to seeing me try it up against the what is that palette called the um cradled and ice palette don't don't be surprised you're being pre warm now y'all i'm excited i get to go to the polish and beauty expo here in chicago on sunday and i will get to meet the team from cleone so hopefully i'll get to meet the owner maggie they've been so nice they actually used one of my pictures on their facebook and their instagram to show the um the palette i had bought from them i think it's the the, the one that looks like a treasure chest i forgot the exact name of it but they used my picture 
on their Facebook and their Instagram. So, I was really flattered by that. I wish I would come up with more palettes though. I'm gonna take the shade Tempting now because y'all know, as you can see, I'm sitting here now using the palette, so that's why I don't really talk about them that much. It's not I don't love the brand, I do, but it's like y'all don't, you know, they don't make palettes that often. And I, we know I'm a palette loving queen, so I was like, I need my palettes, I need them to survive. So the fact that they don't do palettes a lot is kind of what hinders me from buying from them as often because it's like if they had palettes, you know. I'd be rocking with them like I do with everybody else, but the fact that I have to buy singles, and it's not even the fact that they're in Canada, because if you didn't know, Clean Order is a Canadian-based brand, it's the fact that I have to pick a whole bunch of individual shadows. That's honestly my problem. We're going to take the shade Cultural now, but that, that's genuinely my problem. Like I, I don't want to have to pick a whole bunch of individual shades. I don't care that you're in Canada, because, I mean, we're using a brand that's all the way in the... UK, so clearly that doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that it's in a pound. So now we're gonna go into the shade Natural, like I told y'all on top of the shimmer, and then we'll do the inner corner shade. So yeah, then we'll put Natural right up in here. But yeah, I'm excited to go to one. I haven't been to one ever, forever. I was supposed to go to the one with Danessa Myricks that, um, in March, but I ended up not going because one of my family members that came to Chicago for me to go to the trade show with her. Y'all know the one I go to the trade show with every year. So since I went with her, instead I didn't get to go see Danessa Myers, but that was okay, like, you know, I'll have to go another time. I'll eventually get to one of her, maybe I'll get invited to one of her, like, you know, events, and then I'll have to go, but. So I'm liking the way that looks on the outer V. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue. And now we're going to this inner corner shade, which is called Gravitate. I decided to be unique and do some like more well in this one to do a more black based inner corner as opposed to you know the um traditional like brighter inner corner and I think it turned out pretty nicely so back to one up now so talk about my thoughts okay so I know my lipstick doesn't match I did um kind of mesh it together though just because I wasn't feeling the way it was looking without um you know the um with the mismatched side in the picture so I had to mush it together to make it work so I know it doesn't necessarily go with my eye but that's not what we hear for we hear about the eye so let's talk about the eye so I like the formula of their palettes I think they did a good job with these palettes just like they do with all their other palettes it just depends on what your preference is if you like a more warm tone look then you'll like the neutrals sorry nude trues palette if you like a more cool tone look then you'll like the cool trues palette however i feel like if you don't necessarily care about having those like neutrally mauve tone shades and that gives this a more cool tone neutral lovers feel then i feel like you would be fine just having your winter wonderland i plan on pairing this with winter wonderland in addition to some other things in my collection just because i feel like they will go nicely together but I recommend these palettes if you're interested in trying out the brand and you weren't feeling all the colorful stories that they had. Although the Muse palette, I feel like it's somewhat toned down compared to a lot of the other ones she has. She usually goes for a lot of colors, so I thought it was nice that she added some, you know, neutrals and cultures to her staple core collection so that way more people will be willing to try the brand because lots of people are thinking more everyday makeup and not necessarily fun colorful makeup and even any brands have to realize that and um put something in play so i like the fact that she finally got something that the people that have to go to work every day that want to try the brand can try so that's good for them i'm okay with having it in my collection it's not a necessity for me personally but if i did have to pick between the two we all know i'm picking the one that's on my eyes right now which is the cultures because these are just my types of tones but those are my thoughts it has the same great formula same nice shimmers and the same reasonable price same reasonable price point and if you need a code of course we all know the drill use my girl karen harris's code which is cash maker but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds make sure you subscribe my membership is down below if you're interested i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye